Jan sports a car of the year and the fastest S-Class car till easy gets off its butt. The Conan Clicker getting a proper revisit by me. What's good guys, a transporter here and today we're looking at the Koenigsegg Agera. A lovely thing. Uh, it's about a year old now, I believe, more than a year old. It was released um, back in January, the 6th of last year. And since then, I've just been bowed over in August praise and excitement. Because this, without a shadow of the doubt, is one of the best cars I've ever driven. Um, before a quick climb shut down, unfortunately. Uh, the stats, let's see. It, in the real world, the car has a 5 liter twin turbo VA producing 927 horsepower, will do 0 to 60 in 3.13 sec seconds and hit a top speed of 245 to 50 miles an hour. Uh, it was initially built to beat the Vera, but unfortunately it never did. And we'll get to more of that later on. Right, so what I decided to do this time around was uh, to try not to speak all throughout the entire revisit because I heard you guys were complaining that you wanted to hear the engine sound of the car which in this case really makes no sense at all because the Agera sounds no different than the other CCXs or the Ford GT or the McLaren MP4 S12C or the SRL McLaren 722 and the Sterling Mass and a bunch of other cars that have the same monotonous supercharged V8 sound, which is erroneous in this subject because the Agera is powered by two turbos rather than a supercharger, unlike the other CCXs. But I will honor your requests and I will try not to speak throughout. But let's get through the basics of the thing. Um, we talked about top speed. Have we talked about top speed yet? No, we didn't talk about top speed. Uh, the top speed of this car is 207 miles per hour stock. It's 260 miles per hour street tune, and the setup that you see here, which is rated at S Class 820, is 227. Uh, its acceleration is strong. It's not as strong as the McLaren F1's acceleration, but it's stronger than the rest of the Koenig X, which is a good thing, which because the Agera is one of the most powerful of the Koenig X, besides the Agera R and the Agera S, and the soon to come Agera 1. Uh, handling? The Agera is a bit of a drifter, and that's no surprise there because the CCX is a drifter, the CCX R is a drifter, the CCX Elite is a drifter, pretty much the whole family of Koenig X in this game are drifters. And. But what makes this car 
better than the other Koning Six is that it's a much tamer card to drive. What the devs have done here, and you can see and you can tell as you drive, is that um, it's much more tamer to drive. The drift in it has been decreased tremendously, allowing drivers to have a better feeling, um, handle it with better care, as you, as we can see here. Um, and, you, and even though it does oversteer, it does help with the steering limits, which means it's not really stiff, all the while being an excellent corner. And it is an excellent corner because it it's not fidgety or loose in the steering, it's balanced. And as for corner speeds, um, it loses less in the corners than most S-Class cars. Actually, and people will rattle on, and I do agree that this is one of the this is the McLaren F1 Elite's closest rival, uh, and you can tell in the speed that it, as you as you cornering around, it doesn't lose a lot of speed in the corners, allowing you to get on, on rather well, uh, which is good. Now, as for how it was built, well, obviously it looks beautiful, it drives beautifully. Um, if only they made it with his own like own engine sound and I'm going to stop speaking now so you can actually listen to it for a bit listen to it right you I mean it, it's no surprise it's no surprise you should sound almost boring but that's not the true reason why I love this car the reason why I love this car is because um, it's calm and serene and beautiful yet it's brutal fast and surprisingly unexpected and that's exciting. Yes, it's exciting. I like the Zander Cinque. It's very exciting. I mean, if you like drifting and being on top of your toes, this is the car for you. And all the while, if you like all those things and like setting records like a true driving champion, this is the car for you. Um, and the oversteer does aid to with this car's excitability. I mean, although it corners faster than the Zonda Cinque and most cars in this class, it's also a tail happy dog. You will oversteer if you land jumps improperly or do wacky things while racing. So, overdoers do take precaution. But that's why I love it. It's a challenge. Like the old CCX, as I mentioned way back before, everyone's complaining that, oh, it's not a challenge at all in CC. It's a challenge. Tail. Cars that fishtail after landing jumps, they're very hard and very annoying to get upright again. It's like all of a sudden you're leading and all of a sudden you come to this jump and you land sideways and then all of a sudden the car spins and tail and fishtails in the other, other opposite direction and you get all pissed off like, why on earth did my car turn that direction? Why is it drifting onto the other side? Why is it, you just get all bogged and mad and pissed off at the developers making a car that does wacky stuff but that's the whole essential meaning of the challenge it requires you to understand the car and to handle it with care so that you can know its weaknesses its strengths and all that bit that's why i love it. for example the corvette zr1 is an american monster that's lightweight with a lot of power under its bonnet but the stick can get it round faster than anyone else can because well he can control he can control it the same thing goes with the mercedes c63 amt black series that car is just a smoke screen a smoke creator actually but round the track is faster than the ferrari 599 gtb so in conclusion the Agera is fantastic, brilliant, quick, 
decisive, not decisive, that's a stupid word, brilliant, quick, an oversteer, uh, beautiful to look at, beautiful to drive, beautiful to just appreciate. Is it worth 8100 speed boost? Yes, it's the closest rival to the F1 Elite, and that's just a lot more expensive. And to be honest, there aren't many races with this, with the Agera in it. You probably find one every three to four races. There's just Sunday Cinque's and F1 Elite. And I'll be honest, right now, I use this car to get S class with all my S class wins. And I've been called a cheater, hacker, noob, and all that stupid bollocks by all the newbie children in this car 300 times. The Agera, ladies and gentlemen, is no pushover. And that's all I have to say on the car. Thank you very much. Good night.